Another type of connective tissue is the dense connective tissue, also called fibrous connective tissue. Now, why do you think a tissue was named fibrous? Because it has lots of fibers. So, if it has lots of fibers, do you remember the cells that produce the fibers? The cells are fibroblasts. So, obviously, in the dense fibrous connective tissue, the main cells are the fibroblasts. And the main fibers they produce is the collagen fibers. And collagen fibers are the fibers that give great tensile strength to a tissue. Now, these collagen fibers can be arranged parallel to each other, so they can be regularly arranged, and that's what gives rise to the dense, regular connective tissue. Or, these collagen fibers can be all deorganized and running in different directions, and that gives rise to the dense, irregular connective tissue. Now, let's think about it. If we have the protein fibers arranged in a specific direction, that will make the tissue strong in one specific direction, but not strong in every single direction, right? Now, if we have the protein fibers running in all different directions, that will make the tissue not particularly strong in one specific direction, but the tissue will be relatively strong in all directions. And that's what happens. So, this regular connective tissue, which is the one that has the protein fibers, mainly collagen fibers, arranged in parallel bundles, they are found in tendons and ligaments. So, tendons and ligaments are basically the same tissue. What's the difference? And the difference is that tendons connect two different things. And ligaments connect things that are like. So, tendons are cords that connect muscles to bones, two different things. And ligaments are cords that connect bone to bone, two things that are like. And when you look at the dense irregular connective tissue, the fibers are running in all different directions, and basically they form sheets. And then you have dense irregular connective tissue surrounding our brain, making up the dura mater. It makes up the white of our eyes, which is what we call anatomically sclera. It also makes up the fibrous pericardium, which is the fibrous layer that surrounds our heart. And also we have this dense irregular connective tissue making up a protective covering around cartilage, and that's what we call perichondrium, because chondro, root, means cartilage, and peri is periphery, so around cartilage, and also we find it creating a protective covering around the bone, and that's what we name periosteum.